What is going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new EAFC24 tutorial on the channel. Today I'm gonna present you three extremely effective ways of scoring from corner kicks in the new game. Just like that, Ovi puts it in. One, two, three, he makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Makes a slight throw, oh he's got a man for a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. If you wanna get cheap and reliable coins, go check the best place on the market, fifacoin.com, with super fast delivery time and make sure to use the code OVI for extra discount. Link is in the description. Before we get started, make sure to smash the like button if you're enjoying the tutorial series on the channel and let me know in the comment section below which tutorial you would like to see next. Where do you think that uh, your game needs improvement? Where do you need advice? We will start with the first variation, a direct cross from the corner kick and it is very very important here uh, in order to maximize your chances of scoring a goal. You will need the free kick taker, the corner kick taker to have dead ball and whipped pass. I'm not saying that this uh, type of corner kick will not work without these traits, but if you have these play styles, it will increase the chances of the cross to be extremely, extremely accurate. Plus, uh, once you get the cross going, uh, it would be again very helpful if you can get a player in the box with a power header play style. That play style will be monumental in your uh, chances of winning the header. Now, uh, let's see this example right here. Uh, we've got Kevin De Bruyne on the right side of the pitch, right-footed player. This is how I'm used uh, to do it. You will position the, fr the line exactly as we are seeing in this example and look at the effect that I give to the ball. The inside foot curled and the trajectory is almost parallel, almost parallel with the goal uh, line. In terms of uh, intensity, because that is also very, very important, we will go around two and a half bars. But before that, you will have to select your striker in the box. Another very, very important thing. In order to do that, you will have to press L1 on your PlayStation controller or uh, LB on your Xbox controller. That will give you the opportunity to toggle through uh, your offensive players in the opponent's box. You will select there the player with power header trait or your best player at headers. Once you do that, load the cross at two and a half bars. After the cross has been, uh, has been loaded, you will have to position your striker exactly in the position uh, in the scenario where uh, you get the chance to get in front of the center back. This is a perfect, uh, the perfect example right here. And once you do that, just tap one time the cross button. That will trigger the cross. Uh, once the ball is close to your striker, I would say around 3-4 meters away, load the header. The header should be between 2 and 3 meters. Bars. And yeah, as you are seeing on the screen, the result is superb. Erling Holland with a monster of a header. Uh, again, it is not mandatory for your players to have those play styles, but it will increase a lot your chances of efficiency uh, from doing this, uh, this corner kick. And make sure, guys, to check step by step uh, everything that I did right here, where I, where I positioned the cross, uh, when I triggered the cross, the position of the striker, uh, those are, are things that are very, very important. Next variation right here is a bit different comparing uh, with what we've had before, actually very different because this uh, applies to squads that have agile players, don't have that uh, power header trait at any of their uh, players in the opponent's box. So what you're gonna do is call the second man at the corner kick by pressing uh, uh, R1 on your PlayStation or RB on your Xbox controller. Once you've done that, pass the ball to that player. From here on, pass it back to the kick taker. And this pass right here will change everything because you will draw, as you are seeing here, three 
opponents in the penalty box on the left side because they need to protect the baseline. It's very important. The side of the pitch needs to be protected. Once you've done that, there you go. You got that player at the edge of the box. Pass the ball to that player and then immediately first touch pass to one of the players in the box. Very important here. Um, watch with the corner of your eye. Who's the player that can actually finish in the box? Uh, for example, we can't. We got Upamecano, Upa with the fit. Not that good, but we do pass it there to Morgan. And the turn, I just turn directly from the left analog. I open up the angle. And the result from there on, <laughs> as you're about to see, it is absolutely, absolutely spectacular. Morgan, far post, finishes with ease. So remember, the pass is very important. The pass here, when you go with the Binya on the wing, you draw the three defenders, then pass it at the edge of the box and uh, pass it to Morgan. First touch, uh, turn, and then the finish is just incredible. Last but not least, another example here. You've called the second man. Important, important, important. Uh, you've done that by pressing, of course, R1 on your PlayStation or... Um, R, uh, sorry, RB on your Xbox controller. Once you've done that, you need to open the angle for a cross. You're gonna pass it back, as you've seen in the previous example, to the corner kick taker. And from this position right here, you are perfectly, perfectly, perfectly oriented uh, towards your... Uh, it's, it's a center back, it's a striker, the game automatically puts him there. You've got Kim Min Jae, I've got Kim Min Jae in the box, and just look at that. The cross will go at around three bars, and the result is perfection. It goes perfectly to Kim, and again, I load the header when the ball is three, four meters away. Aim it at the far post, and uh, the result, perfect. No chance for the goalkeeper to ever save this. Important thing here, you will need... Uh, a left-footed player to cross from the right side or a right-footed player to cross from the right side or players with five stars uh, weak foot in order to be able to give that proper curve to the ball in order for uh, it to be delivered properly to your striker. So we've got direct cross from the corner kick. We've got the short passes from the corner kick. We've got short pass combined with a cross at the far post. Three very dominant variations of the corner kick technique that you need to add to your attacking arsenal. They're very good and they're not that hard to learn. Once you put the hours, the and I don't think it's hours, maybe one hour in practice, you you'll get the hang of it. This will be all for today, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button. My name is Ovi and I'll see you fellas in the next videos. And don't forget to check the previous tutorials, guys. Get your level up. Get higher in divisions, get more wins, and fit champions.